Welcome back everyone. We're gonna go ahead and talk about the Magic Mouse 2 and see how this bad boy holds up in 2021. Now what I can tell you about this thing is that I actually do think it's still a really decent mouse to pick up. There's still that frustrating thing with the charging part on the bottom. But other than that, I do think there's still a big reason to pick this thing up. But in my humble opinion, right, I personally think the Magic Trackpad 2 is the most perfect thing you can ever get. I've been using mine. I broke my first one. I bought this one and it's such a, I've been having such a great experience with these type of Magic Trackpads and I would highly recommend anybody if you have the chance to actually pick one of these things up. Now I will leave a Magic Mouse 2 and a Magic Trackpad 2 link down below. You can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time. Now looking around the Magic Mouse 2. I've been using mine a lot more this year because I have my iMac separately and I have my mouse connected to that and I really do like it. You know, I'll be honest. I, I think I've been a little hating on it for the last like, two years, three years since I've had it. But here's the thing. This thing is such a premium feeling, you know, mouse. I've had a lot of mouses in my day and I would buy like cheap like 10 to $15 ones on Amazon. They were like completely built out of plastic. They felt super cheap, but they were cheaper than the Magic Mouse 2. And I figured, you know, I could save some money. They do the same thing, right? But those mouses would just break like every single like three to four months. That mouse would just break and it was a horrible experience. I hated it. But then I bought the Magic Mouse 2 and it has been a great experience. I haven't this thing hasn't broken on me yet. I've spilled some water on it. Nothing has happened I'm so glad about it. You have the glass up top That's kind of like a multi gesture based design on the top so you can scroll through pages by scrolling through the top It has multi finger gesture support too So if you want to scroll through different desktops on your display You have that opportunity of doing so as well And again, like I stated that is another humongous asset of it And when you have you know a specific mouse like this really the only thing I see Apple eventually doing with the magic mouse 3 is maybe it's supporting wireless charging. I think that would be great. But on top of that, if it moved the magic mouse, you know, the lightning port from the bottom to like the side or to the front or something, I don't know where else they could put it, but I think that would be the smartest thing so you can use it while you're actually still charging it. Now, the bottom of it, like I said, has that charging port and that is the most frustrating thing. I, I just feel like if Apple moves it, that's going to make a lot more people want to go purchase this mouse. And at first I was wondering, like, can you still use it while you charge it? Because the Magic Trackpad 2 has that capability, but that is not the case. Even if you try to like charge it and like move the mouse a little bit or like use your finger to kind of have it as like a mouse pad, it doesn't work. You cannot charge and use this thing at the same time. Well, the whatever way you try to do it. So that personally is kind of annoying. I wish they didn't do it, but again, there's nothing we can do about it. Now that kind of covers it in a body standpoint, but the use case is it uses just like a regular mouse. You know, it's not really that much different than any other mouse I've used. It's still accurate. I think you can still do a lot of other things with other mouses that you can with this. I don't think maybe like gamers would be happy about it, but I think as like a productivity type of mouse, if you're doing a lot of like Microsoft Word and Excel and those type of things, I feel like this mouse kills it in those areas. And there's not a humongous reason to upgrade from like this mouse to like other mouse just because of those things. Now, I will tell you this thing has been out for almost six years now. You know, it's going to be, you know, six years coming up this couple months. And I think it just it's a matter of time before Apple refreshes it. But I ask myself, like, you know, is that a big deal? And to be honest, it's kind of like 50-50 on one hand. Yeah, it's kind of a big deal because you don't want to get a product that's already going to be outdated. But on the other hand, how much better can mouses get? You know what I mean? Like, even the Magic Mouse 1 is still pretty relevant because it still works. And there's just not that much wrong with it. And that's why I think the Magic Mouse 2, for the price tag, like, if you can get it for much cheaper, I think they're a little bit cheaper on Amazon, I would recommend it. You know what I mean? This thing's battery life is great. I charge it one time and it lasts for, like, weeks and weeks and probably months on end just like my magic trackpad 2 and i think if you don't have a magic mouse 2 you should probably just pick it up they're not super expensive like i stated and i've seen a lot of people even throw it in their book bag and just take it on the go with them and i think like i said that's another pretty big asset for it. it's just so portable it's so small and it's so durable now you may be able to crack the glass if you chuck it across the room but like I said, I've traveled with mine. I've, you know, had it moved in boxes with other products. I've maybe tossed it around here and there, and it's still been holding up. The battery's still great, and it does exactly what a mouse has to do. So I think in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up. I would recommend it. But like I said, I would probably recommend a Magic Trackpad 2 over the Magic Mouse 2, in my opinion. So that pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below if you want to pick it up. Like I said, links are down below as well. Hit the like button, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.